Well, what is up, y'all? And welcome or welcome back to another reaction video. The following program it is intended only for mature audiences. No, because baby, look, why Miss Natalie be eating? Because yes. City from the west side, big to best. I do a day to shite. Wayne, Louisiana, Dr. Dre, the Los Angeles. This is it, bitch. Michael Misfit, high day, a legend and moonwalk. Sliding across the stage in 87. This that Tupac out the window, both hands throwing up that middle finger. Fuck them other niggas, ratchet bitches in my demons. Yeah, I'm queen. What is up, y'all, and welcome and welcome back to another reaction video. I'm your host with the most, Natalie Love, and to give you your comedic commentary with these here reaction videos. Now, notice I did say reaction videos for all the newcomers. We are so happy to have you. Welcome. Uh, before you decide to stay, though, let me let you know. I cuss, I curse, I do all the things, okay? These are reaction videos, so then and therefore, I will be reacting. I am not your basic boring fucking homegirl. I am not Momo and Pawpaw. We are not watching TV together sitting still. Okay, I'm going to talk during, before, after, while the shit playing. I'm going to pause it frequently. If you don't like none of that, go ahead and look for it yourself. 21 minutes of Karen's getting what they deserve, okay? If you don't want to watch it by yourself, shut the fuck up and watch it with us, amen? Now, another thing before I get too deep into it, because I'm going to ask you for something, okay? Don't worry about it. It's free. Ah, damn. I'm finna push the button. It's free. Make sure you like the video. Why? Because it helps us grow. Make sure you comment just to let the love gang know that you don't subscribe to the channel. Duh, that's all I was finna say. Anyway, we get into these Karen videos. Quick disclaimer, okay? Right fast. When y'all see a nigga posting videos back to back, like literally seven days in a row come, and you done had a video or two on every day, leave me the fuck alone about what I should be doing. What you should be doing is going back, making sure it's a video that you ain't watched, because I know it is. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Uh-huh. Don't tell nobody just as nice and nasty as you try and make it. Oh, I love the videos, babe, but you should be. That's the end of the meet. You had me fucked up at what I should be doing. No, what you should be doing is going back, watching the shit, or you should be waiting. But if this ain't your ministry, if this ain't what you do, Huh? If you don't sit still and record videos after you get off one computer and come to another one, shut the fuck up. The videos is coming as fast as the fuck they possibly can. Or as fast as I'm going to put them out. I don't give a fuck what you think I should be doing. And I'm going to let you know that I don't give a fuck. So if I can't be offended, your ass can't be offended either, huh? Let's go ahead on and get that shit straight. I do what the fuck I want to do on this goddamn channel when I want to do it. The only people can't tell me what I can't do is you two. Because we partners, huh? I'm going to put these motherfuckers up as I put them up and whatever I see fit. Crazy thing is, motherfuckers that'll tell you what you should be doing ain't now one of the people that get up in your inbox and actually send you videos of shit that they want to see. You don't participate in no other way but telling me what the fuck I should be doing. That shit sends me. Hopefully we can be friends after this. But if not, you should be looking for other friends any fucking way. Because you don't like to be able to handle the truth. So I can't fuck with you no how. Okay? Stop telling people what the fuck they should be doing and you don't get up and do it on no day. If you spectating and you ain't got shit else better to say, continue to shut the fuck up and watch. Some of y'all are a lot cooler until you speak. Anyway, let me make sure we recording like we always do. Had to get that off my motherfucking chest because text messages don't translate right to me. Huh? I don't hear a text message the way you typed it. I don't see a message. I don't see a comment deep in, bitch. When it come down to my business, don't tell me what the fuck I should be doing. And you ain't doing it at all. Not even contributing other than looking. Okay? Now, let me make sure we record like we always do, Bow, And let's go. Oh, I cut out a bunch of this shit that he was saying at first because I don't care. Could mess with a lady who was just chilling we here for car. this. But the lady knows exactly how to shut I don't like this music, so I'ma just talk through it. I'ma talk through person. it. Why she built I like know, that? Because I, I don't work right and I'm a bum, and you're just being mean to me for no reason while I'm sitting in my own vehicle. How about that? Why are you allowing her to be mean to you being built like that? I don't give a I don't care. It's okay. 
We know you don't give a shit. Look at how you outside. You done came outdoors like that. Outside is all I'm saying. The smoke is not on you. I thought the lady had socks on. You're invading my space. You bothered me. No, you're in a public parking lot, babe. I'm glad I'm done so I can get away from the smoke. What's wrong with that? Oh, You're outside, bitch. Outside is full of pollution. Where have you been? This the airline the employee to cut in line and be the first to get off the plane, but the employee trolls her by moving super slowly, driving Karen crazy. Yeah. On purpose. I need to go pee. What I can't understand. Now, true enough, I am a person that despises the airport and I know this. If you know that you don't like to be closed in to the point to where you may have a mental motherfucking breakdown, please get you a rental and drive where you are going. There is no reason a bunch of people should have to be subjected to your bullshit in this little ass cabin because a lot of times bad juju rub the fuck off. I may not even be mad about being on this plane. But now your attitude done hopped over the motherfucking seat, jumped in my mouth, and now I'm pissed off too. Now it's two mad motherfuckers on here and everybody else is mad at you and I'm super mad at you. Don't, I, I, this shit, I'm sick of fucking seeing it. This shit is pure D dumb. Stupid. As the fuck. Dumb. As hell. If you get claustrophobic like that, stop buying a ticket to get on a plane. And then and then have enough nerve to be too cheap to buy the first seat. They sell that seat. That's right by the cockpit. They sell that seat. If you're not willing to buy that seat, if you're not willing to get the motherfucker when it's available, if you're not willing to offer some money to the motherfucker sitting there because you want to be the first person to get up and get off the goddamn plane. Who in the fuck are you sitting in seat 27F? To tell somebody to hurry the fuck up because you want to be the first person to get off the plane. You should have did want to be the first person to get off the plane. Shit. Proactively. Get your dumb ass on the website and pay for the goddamn seat up front. Ain't no way in hell you going to sit in the motherfucking asshole of the plane and want them to personally walk you to the front. Princess Diana, who in the fuck is you? Don't nobody give a fuck about your attitude on this aircraft. We are in a big ass tin can flying. Sit your bitch ass down. Even the shit like when everybody be getting up, when the plane stop, everybody gets up and rushes to the front to wait 15 minutes on foot. You're still going to wait on the plane surrounded by people. You can't even get off yet until they open the door. What be the point? You reaching over people to get your luggage, dropping shit on people, all kind of stuff. That ain't doing nothing but building up more animosity. I believe they should start doing the shit the way that they used to do the goddamn bus seats when your ass be in trouble. C1, go ahead. C2, come on. C3, that's how the fuck they should start doing y'all big grown asses. Fucking weirdos. You just get up so she can I'm get trying out. to get my bag out. Then please do that. Get out! Hold on, man. But who the fuck are you? Because he looks like a pilot. This dolphin can see in two Shit. directions. And then get out. Who in the fuck is you talking to? I hate, I hate the fact that uniforms, for some odd reason, just snatch the humanity out of people. So you think because had that man had on some regular clothes or had he been a bitch, you wouldn't have said nothing to him. Fuck around and got the ancient Chinese secret knocked out your motherfucking ass. You better relax. I see a man. He's getting up. Hung Kim Long. You better sit your ass down. Sitting over there looking straws distressed and stressed. Yeah, why why did I do it? Please huh? step back. Hold on, ma'am. Hold on. Who in the fuck is she? Uh, get off the plane. Go. You so busy doing all this talking, you should be moving. It's always somebody attempting to accommodate and come to motherfuckers. Re You're still talking. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Cause you don't have you don't have no smoke for her, Miss Lady. Ma'am, get your stuff and be quiet. Oh boy, 
A whole squad of male Karens in the neighborhood got triggered because some guy had the audacity to drive around in their precious territory. Right here, buddy. Right here. Tell them what you were doing. Burning out racist. Did y'all do that to his car? Burning out racist. I told you not to. Did y'all do that shit to his car? Who got a gun? Who got the gun? The guy who's got a permit to carry. You got a gun? You're the one that would get a gun. All right. All right. Right, oh my god, I can't imagine. I couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine. Y'all are surrounded by this white motherfuckers. goes on and on about how she's the most rude worker in the drive thru And then they get up in your face when they got people with them. But you're the manager. So the one that gave me bad customer service, why he keep closing the door on me? He the manager. He's being rude as fuck. Is bad customer service girl because don't nobody care how much money you spend and then you look like a kid they're happy meals oh god and you have kids he just slammed the receipt on the ground it's cold my kids are back here cold like this is crazy as fuck. so that's the receipt and i need the corporate number too so the is the corporate number on here? Yeah. And your name? You're, you're recording, so why would I give you my name? Just get off the drive and that's it. This lady had the nerve to call out the rude Karen worker. And what did Karen do? I don't think do? that was a Karen. Yep. I she think she asked She started yelling like there's no question. tomorrow. Why would she talk to me? Is that how you talk about the last? No, I was trying to explain to the lady I couldn't hear her. No, that's not what When she said no coke, with small coke and no money. She was trying to tell you. She was trying to talk to you, mm -hmm. and I see that you have a problem talking to her. No, I don't have a problem talking to nobody. You were having you a have a good day leave my restaurant. I was not having a bad day, so you came oh. in and at me. That changed and quick. All I told the lady on the headset is that I didn't understand what she said. She well, that's the lady who went in the car. I'm asking her, did she? I couldn't hear what she said of the talk ring. And oh, yeah, you got bug with her. You don't have no right you got here, you got buck with her. No, you don't have no right to call me. You, right? you, you, you don't have no right to. You came in here yelling at me. Oh, I came in there yelling at you. So please leave my establishment oh. now. So if you notice, the black lady didn't expect her to cut up like that. The black lady didn't expect her to say nothing back. Now, I'm with you when you're right. But did you get the food or are you still expecting the food? Because I don't understand being willing to trip the fuck out with people that's back there and you can't see every station where they making your food at. A lot of y'all are eating contaminated motherfucking food full of goddamn spit from a toothless bitch because you wanted to get buck with this lady and show her who the fuck is boss. Meanwhile, you don't understand why you got herpes and been single for eight years. You go okay. sit down. We need a ring now. Go there, sit down. <laughs> Whoa. So what? Leave her alone. She's only 13 years old. Leave her alone. Okay. She's a 13 year old. Actually, I'm 14. You have a fucking problem? This Karen at the restaurant shouts at the worker, <laughs> demanding a refund. What when happened? the worker refuses due to her rude behavior, she starts throwing everything in sight, causing a messy oh, scene. No. You don't get to refuse my money because you don't like my behavior. So let me know. It's not just yeah, you don't you don't get to refuse my money because of my behavior. I may be erratic. Now, if I could just throw shit around, that's different. Oh, okay. That's different. If he throw that food. The extra chicken too. The extra chicken too. You're not about to make everybody else go Give me the chicken. The, the rest of my order is not here. The rest. I will be here. Okay, they And that's a shame because everybody terrified to walk to the side of it. You can't give them no solution, sweetheart. They the ones that work, not you. You want them to just hand you some fucking food? I 
I, you know what? It got it. There ain't no way that it ain't no cocaine in Popeye's chicken. It has to be some form of hair on a crystal meth in Popeye's chicken to make y'all come up here and clown like this behind that bird. I don't understand that. I will never have no understanding for why y'all clown like this behind Popeye's motherfucking chicken. I really wouldn't. It's good, but fuck that. Cut your losses and go somewhere else. Well, that's all you got, baby. I'm here for the next three, four hours, so stand here. They called the cops, but she left before they could arrive. This grumpy old Karen blocked his car. You didn't in the even look at it. How you know it's all not there? Using to let a worker get in. So much unnecessary drama. I hate how they just let certain people. I done kicked y'all. I hate how they just let people move in. So now you get to control the gate because somebody let you that. sign a lease. Move so I can call my customers so I can get out, sir. So blocking the gate gate does not help me. So can you move your vehicle so I can call the customer so I can get out? You don't need to be out. So can you go, please? I need you to get the fuck out of the way. If you're going to block me, I will call the cops. I hope you do. That's If you're blocking me, I will call the cops. You are illegally blocking me at this time. I can't move my car. It's stuck. Oh, it's stuck? You're not allowed you to just go drove through, through here. Without a I'm waiting for you to move so the gate can start closing so I can call my customer, like I just said. You if you do not customer. if Listen you do not move your vehicle, I will call the cops. Fuck listening to you. Right. Done. You so busy trying to record shit. This Karen decided to go full oh, on. Oh, you ain't gonna hit that car knocking on some lady's door, refusing to leave. Away from my house and close my door. Why are you asking her What's to close your door? Okay, but yeah, you come up here bamming on my door, waking me up, waking my child up, and now you won't leave. Y'all have too much conversation for these people. I give a damn. Okay. Stay there and, and I don't... Let, hold on. Because I'm in the mood today. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit y'all be talking about. These motherfucking elms and illnesses and all this other shit. Whatever in the fuck made you crazy enough in the motherfucking head. Spaz out, spazoid, whatever the fuck word means. Mentally retarded. Huh? And I'm not talking about in the bad way. I'm talking about whatever the fuck clicked in your psyche to make you want to bam on somebody's motherfucking dough. Walk up in somebody's motherfucking house. Jesus forgives and saves. I don't have to. So fuck y'all with our own shit. So for, I don't give a fuck. I won't have time to know any of that because that's not my business. Now another day. The only day that anything about you is my business is when you step foot in front of my motherfucking house with the bullshit. So I don't give a fuck if you know the backstory. Whatever the fuck I say, that's what the fuck I mean in that situation if I was standing in it. Okay, before anybody to decide to volunteer their medical prognosis, diagnosis or anything, I don't give a shit. If something in your mind clicks off and tells you, we're going to knock on this door, and you get kicked in the marching part of that motherfucking shirt, directly in the middle of your chest, right in the eye of the six on that goddamn sweater, you deserve everything you got because you're playing at somebody's place of residence. This is where the fuck I lay my head at. This ain't no hospital. This ain't no clinic. This ain't nowhere where you treat the sick. We do not help the ill here. So you come to this motherfucker if you want to with the bullshit. I guarantee you I'm going to get you well. Yes, as bad as you are. <laughs> Lady, you don't know my child. My child minds his business just as I do. Like you. How do you know my child when he barely even leaves the house? Who are you, lady? Why are Who you are explaining you? all of this to this I lady? I would love to know. Oh, boy, no. this old Karen really knows Who how to spread the shit in the store. First, she acts rude to the poor worker, and then she has the audacity to stick around and demand an apology. Every time I come here, notice when they say that. Why do you keep coming here? You know, you know it's not a thing that you have to do. Looking like this, looking like that damn lady on Food Network. Get out of here. Everybody wants you to leave. Let her walk her knickerbockers up out of there, please. I suppose she's probably the jerk. Right. 
really, I can be talked to the way I was by the no, cashier, you by the cashier. Talk, you know what? I want her to come over here and apologize. Oh, no, nah, babe. We're not doing that. But all you had to do was let her fucking leave, man. Sometimes everything don't warrant a conversation. She was walking out of the door. Let her go. Now, all of a sudden, she needs an apology. But, ma'am, y'all are both grown. If don't nobody talk to you like that, you don't talk to nobody else like that. That will warrant them to talk to you like that. She approached me. She approached me. She's a cashier. Oh, yeah, like you're going to do it. Well, at least you know. taking his job way too seriously. She probably want to turn around and say, I'm a white woman. Blocking the way and refusing to I wish they just tell the truth. And you're not going to push the car to be that is assault. So please move. Go get your manager. Go get your manager. Go ahead. Go get him. Go get him. I'm not going to get your manager. I'm not getting It's not on me to get him. You're the one stopping me. I, here's my you receipt. can't be acting like this for 1075. Y'all be willing to get no, y'all ass we'll beat. <laughs> All that shit in there insured. That ain't What's none of my motherfucking business or concern like that. I'm not finna put my life in motherfucking danger trying to insult, talk bad, and get bucked with these motherfucking people, even if they old, are old and fucking white. Oh well. Get out of here. Just go. You're, you're underpaid, man. It's cool. It's I get good. it. Yeah, you're underpaid. I get it. You're good. mad at life. It's all good. Yeah, it's all good. It is. It's you cannot good. stop me. You cannot stop me or hold me against my will. That is illegal. You can follow me to my car if you like. So what? You don't have a receipt? Like, what's the problem? You, you can follow me to my car if you like. So now. Because you are now pushing a whole bag. That's Hi. illegal. That's Hi. holding me against you my are, will. Hi. You are You're pushing a whole basket you're worth of shit out of there dude. without a bag. No, you, you can't but you legally do that. You're standing my thing of it is, where's loss prevention? You not a LP, my nigga, not dressed up in the vest. You are literally a greeter. So if he did steal the shit, obviously LP ain't worried about it neither. Are they just not there right now? Because I don't know no Walmart that don't have no LP there. So with that being said, why are you doing the wrong people? You, you're doing the wrong job right now. You're doing the wrong job. Because if that man take a bottle of that solution and take it upside your motherfucking head, he'd be dead ass wrong. I think we done seen this one before on another compilation. On me. But yeah. yeah. I'm trying to go around you it and you keep matter. getting in front of me. I You're can't wait. To po I cannot wait to post this online. Post oh, dude, it. TikTok's going to blow up because of this one. Oh, Chuck. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Dude, look at this guy. So first off, your guy cannot. Ain't stop nobody my way. else helping him. He cannot him. get in my way. And he cannot physically. No, you don't. Get, he cannot physically touch me. And I've been recording the whole. Yes, you did. You? Oh, he I got bounced into me, bro. Look at that. Look at that. Oh uh, no! Now that's stupid to lie about, babe. Why? He cannot do that legally. That is against the law. But why can't you just give him the receipt? And then you snatch the receipt from yeah, me, yeah, nigga. Yeah. I ain't the one that held you in yeah, here. A wild Karen appeared in the restaurant, spewing racist remarks. But the worker and a customer formed a no-nonsense alliance and kicked her out. Okay. No, I deal with McDonald's. I deal with owners. I don't deal with people that gang up on me. You're not from the same place I'm from, and neither are they. No. Uh, baby, where exactly are you from? Because that dark black hair, that dark brown hair tells me your ass ain't from here either. Huh? It's a lot of you motherfuckers. I, I don't think you're a Native American, Native American at all. If you are not Native American, please stop telling people to go back some motherfucking where. We all came from somewhere, and a lot of you motherfuckers came from a place that you wouldn't believe you came from. A lot of y'all are coming from the same motherfucking descent I came from. You just so happen to have blonde hair and blue eyes. But it is a thing. There are blue-eyed and blonde-haired niggas out here in the world, too. There are niggas that speak Spanish. How in the fuck did that happen? They are called Cubans. A lot, none of If you are not a Native American, this ain't your shit either. Have you ever asked a white person where they came from? History wise. Have you ever asked them and got an answer on to where they came from? Like we can tell you our descendants came from Senegal, uh, Ghana, Lagos. We can tell you different parts of Africa that our descendants came from. China, Korea, to uh, uh, Tijuana, whatever the fuck 
I done said somewhere in Mexico, child, but even if, in Sonata, all these other places that you can give, give people, where do y'all come from? In her case, Italy, bitch, because you ain't from here neither. And I'm not talking about the fact that you were born in New York or you were born in Kansas. Your ass is not a native American. You are not a native American, meaning you did not origin and start here. And maybe or maybe not, maybe or maybe they didn't either. But as far as we know, they are the native Americans. My God, today. Is it a part of Caucasia? Is Caucasia a place? Y'all let the motherfucking Mayflower and its driver fuck y'all up. I know the owners. Not only a personal friend, I know the Is that a Panera bread? No, don't bother. No, thank you. No, thank you. Oh, yeah, and I think she Asian because of that dumbass Mother Goose hat she got on. I hate that dumbass hat. Yeah, I'll follow you. I'll follow you. Describe my clothes and everything. Yeah. Yes, the hand gestures and shit. You're either Italian or Asian. We are succumbing to men that are gay or any other. Oh, you just woke up and chose violence. You mad at people for being gay, Mexican, and eating? They can't be hungry because they Mexican. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, get you and your members only jacket the fuck up out of here. I'm never closing my mouth. Any of you, anywhere, even in your country. Sounds good, man. I'm an American. Oh, okay. And when I want to kick you out, I'll kick you out. Yes. Oh, no, you definitely don't. You're an American citizen, but you're not an American, beloved. I don't need you. You need a life. They need a life, but you in there arguing with everybody. It's not a free world, baby. You pay every day to live Mr. in this Karen motherfucker. Mr. Karen in the restaurant got shut down by the worker, so he goes to another customer to complain about not being served first. Okay, when people walking away, let them leave. Let them leave. You don't have to keep talking. I hate that. When somebody back turns, stop talking to me. I don't understand either when you know you be wrong as fuck in these situations. Why do you have to look for an ally? Like, why do you have to look for somebody to help you to fuck out? Keisha's about to wow us with her tree number three. I'm just asking you, who would you serve first? Sir, I don't work here, so it don't matter who I would serve first. I'm not serving anybody. The person you need to ask who would you serve first is back there, and he's obviously not taking any questions right now. It was pure madness in the parking lot. This couple was having a full-on screaming match, and then this wild dude crashes the party, screaming at them even louder. Just another day at one Martin Washington State. What is Martin Washington State? You might want to chill the out. That's it. Straight up. Uh oh. Mexicans stick together, boy. He ain't got nothing to do with what's going on over there. Wait a minute. He called him S.A. He's not Mexican. Is he Mexican? Yo, filmers, back it up. This car's leaving. Back up, up, girl. Back up, reverse. Get the back. You get the back. Yeah, I'm driving forward. You finna get your ass the fuck up out of the way. Now you out here clowning in front of your kids. 
This customer Shit. went off on the manager. How the fuck can I go if you in the way, dumbass dude? He's like trash. Uh, sir, we want to see what they doing. We don't want to see your goddamn Taco Bell. If you gonna record, record. You can't be scared to be the cameraman. You shouldn't be yelling at your employees, even if you're firing you. I come to this bitch all the time. I know that's right. I can't stand that. You know what's crazy? And I, I never even gave a story time on it, but when we went to, uh, when we was in Atlanta, I'm all for what this man doing right here. I cannot stand to see disgruntled work situations while I'm in that motherfucker. A, I know what it feel like. And I done told y'all plenty of times the story about me working at Waffle House. I know what it feel like to be the new bitch in there and everybody afraid that you coming for they spot because you the young thing. You in that thick whole bunch of ass on the back of you. So motherfuckers treat you a little weird because they scared you're going to try and steal they spot. Bitch, I don't give a fuck about this $2.12 that these people is paying per hour. Yes, Waffle House pays $2.12 per hour. At least they did back when I was working. Now, they may have bumped it up to two, three dollars, but the reason that they pay that is because them tips is lovely. Okay, so make sure you tip in your Waffle House waitresses. Okay, but waitresses and waiters and cooks, if you can, that breakfast ain't nothing but nine dollars, bitch. You can turn it into a, a cool fifteen and get them people a tip. But any fucking way. I cannot stand, stand to see disgruntled. That is supposed to be one of the goddamn places where y'all put on the United Front. Especially working in fast food or any kind of food. I know kitchens get hectic. I am a person that only likes me in the kitchen when I'm cooking. I don't like nobody else around me. I don't like nobody else around me while I'm cooking my motherfucking food. So I can imagine at a kitchen where people are stationed in certain areas. It's hot. It's hot. We got on all these clothes. I'm ready to go. I'm tired of smelling this food. I'm all, I done almost slipped back here six or seven times. They not paying me enough. The chef don't never too much know how to talk to nobody. He's the most disrespectful prick in the motherfucking building. Only because he's the one that wrote down you put this much paprika in the goddamn Think, uh, uh, what? You put this much paprika in the goddamn heavy cream. So all of a sudden, he's somebody fucking special. Anyway. I don't like that. I do not like that. Because you son them people like that in front of people. And when they so busy trying to keep their job because obviously they need it. They showed the fuck up to it. And bitch, you need yours too or else you wouldn't have put on that uniform and came up in here either. But you're powerless everywhere else. Everywhere else you go, motherfuckers cut you off driving on the middle of the goddamn street. Your goddamn man, baby daddy, boyfriend, girlfriend don't never want to let you talk. You can't never win a motherfucking argument at the house. You can't do too much of shit with nobody else. Don't nobody really fuck with you for real. Them kids don't listen to you, so you come to this job and think you finna run another grown motherfucker. And have somebody fucked up. Somebody that got a frame of mind such as myself. I found this job looking. Raise your voice. That's unprofessional. Oh, there you go. I'm tired of this man showing this his Karen food. manager in the restaurant oh, was okay. acting all rude and disrespectful towards a customer. When a lady confronted her about it, she went full on crazy mode and started screaming like a banshee. No, I, I, I totally understand. I, I totally. I'm, I'm, let me know. Let you, but either way, you are a customer service business. There's no way you should be speaking to anyone in that form of manner, letting them know to go eat here. The place here is actually a place for people to come and eat. You're being really disrespectful to all the people that's in here supporting this business. No one has an attitude with you. I, I overheard you. I overheard you. I overheard you. You have an anger issue, and I overheard what you were saying to someone else. I didn't have a problem with what you said to me. No, I'm worried about it because I'm a human, just like everybody else, so you shouldn't be speaking to anybody like that. There's no way you should be in customer service and, and them be people with kids. And not manner to anybody oh, at all. Wow. You have an issue, and you need to be reported for that. And look at you. Look how you're acting right now. That is totally Childish. unprofessional.
So who is the camera you person? Before you came in here, you should leave it at the door. Don't bring it into work with you. Okay, don't bring your drama into work. Hell yeah, you. her for president. All of these people, the way you spoke to all of these people was unprofessional and not right. Well, that, that's all. It doesn't matter if it was towards me. I'm a human. It doesn't matter. That's the problem with the world. That's the problem with the world. You allow people to be taken advantage of, and I'm not that one. So don't do it to anybody at all. Don't do it to anybody. Don't speak to nobody like that. Period. The, look at you, look at you. You are a manager. You are a manager behind the establishment. Miss Monique, whatever your name is, you need to be fired and be reported because your behavior is totally out of hand. And won't. Well, your, your behavior is out of hand. Uh, all right, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Don't use the God bless. Don't use God in the midst. In the midst of your bad behavior, do not use the word of God. Do not use the word yeah. of God in the midst of your bad behavior. At this point, you're fighting a losing no, argument. No. Ain't nobody finna move. That's bad energy, too. That is and no now way. she has to make... Just wanted now, to say it. Now, while I appreciate her vigilantism, she has to now make everybody else's food after you leave. With that attitude and that bad energy, she is now going to be assembling patties when you leave. Thank you. An employee of Burger King here behaving and acting like that, cursing to people, using the F words and everything like that, telling people to get out of their store and go eat elsewhere. Miss Monique, how professional are you? Wow. You need to go yeah, check yourself, mad. really. You need, well, I'm checking you. I'm checking you because you have I an issue. I know that's right. You have an issue. I've already done it. I've already told you about yourself. Either way, I've already told you about yourself. Yeah, because you need to check yourself. Your behavior is out of line. It's totally out of line. There's I no like way how she handled it, you as though. a professional, as a manager. I like how she handled it. you guys speaking it. to anyone like that. It doesn't matter if you were talking to me or not. You spoke to all of these people. All these people are sitting inside of the restaurant eating their food and you disrespect them. You res disrespect it them. Like, you curse at them. So yeah, you do not. For you to say that you don't care, baby, wrap it up. You still coming through with buckets of ice. If you, you, do you think your day gonna get better after this? Your day not finna get better after this. Everybody that's still in there finna fuck with you. On purpose. Your day not finna get better after this. So it's within your best interest, beloved, to just go ahead on the clock out. Especially the fact that she put the whole address to where the fuck you work at, sweetie. So when they find out that you've been telling people not to eat there, no way. And then they have all the other employees to cooperate her story because you was talking fucked up to them too. You're fired anyway. So, like, uh-oh, uh, you just want to stay to get the rest of the hours for the day because you ain't never coming back no more. Or like, what is it? Because I wouldn't have been able Not to finish here. no shift. Go somewhere else. You need to go somewhere else with that behavior. You need to go somewhere else with that behavior. You are not a good representative of the Burger King at all. I know that's right. If this is what Burger King represents, no one should eat at Burger King on your behalf. I know that's right. I'm not 100% in love with the fact that she said that shit and everybody else food got to be there, but I am in love with what she had to say. Because come on, ma'am. Come on. At some point, you relax. Let's let's not do that, sweetheart. Let's not do that. All right, y'all. So we out of here. I done did enough. All right. I love y'all. And until next time. Mm -hmm. Bye.